Hello guys and welcome back for a brand new review. If you are new to the channel, please make sure you're gonna subscribe. You can also give me a follow on Instagram to see exactly what I'm gonna review in the next few days. In today's video, we're gonna have a look at a pair of uh, Nikes, which uh, they were originally released back in uh, 96. So let's go ahead and also take them out of the box guys, which uh, as you can see will be in this uh, red color with the Nike swoosh and the lettering in this white color, so let's just uh, take them out. So in today's video guys, uh, we're gonna have a look at this new color combination for the Nike Air More Up Tempo 96. According uh, to the Nike website, this one uh, hasn't been uh, officially reissued uh, from the original one uh, back in the 96. And I actually think that uh, they are referring to this uh, specific colorway. So this one will feature a lot of uh, fake leather and also some real one. As you can see, the whole upper will actually have these uh, materials. And of course, for the actual uh, air cushioning, we're gonna have a full length one. So let's go ahead and also do a breakdown of this one guys. So as you can see for the upper as I've said earlier we're gonna have mainly this uh, leather material. So uh, covering the whole front of the shoe we're gonna have uh, this white leather which will have a lot of overwrapping materials and uh, just at the top of the tobo section we're gonna have this uh, Nike swoosh uh, stitched in this uh, dark blue color. But as you go uh, towards the lacing system guys, you can see that we're gonna have uh, some different uh, materials used. So we're gonna have some uh, nylon materials. We're also gonna have these uh, plastic uh, tabs as in the boots. Uh, and also uh, in between these uh, laces guys, uh, we're gonna have these uh, straps, which will actually allow you to wear these uh, shoes laced or unlaced. As in for the actual laces, we're gonna have these uh, thin ones in this white color and they're gonna be some round ones which will actually match the actual uh, pull tab here on the tongue and also here at the back. And just underneath these uh, laces guys, uh, we're gonna have this uh, tongue which uh, for at least half of the section will uh, use this uh, very breathable mesh in this white color. And uh, for the top part, uh, we're actually gonna have this uh, leather material, which will also have uh, the Nike swoosh in this white color stitched here at the top, just uh, underneath this uh, pull tab. And I will need to add that the actual amount of padding for this one uh, feels just uh, fine and will sit uh, very nice on top of your foot. But now as you get uh, to the midfoot, guys, you can see that we're gonna have this oversized branding, which has these uh, big letters saying air on each side. And just between this uh, lettering, guys, you can see that we're gonna have a lot of uh, perforation holes for a uh, good breathability as this one will be a full leather most definitely we will need that as you can see here at the back part of the shoe guys we are actually gonna have a very uh, tall uh, ankle section so this one when uh, was originally released back in 96 this one was a basketball shoe but since then of course it transitioned to a lifestyle shoe so this one being a high one, uh, the actual lettering covering the whole back of the uh, shoe will be slightly bigger than the one used here at the front. But of course it will be in the same uh, white leather material. And as you can see covering the back part of the heel section we're gonna have this uh, very big uh, jelly a Nike swoosh. As we go inside guys, uh, we're gonna have this uh, white lining which underneath has a decent amount of padding. Also at the bottom we're gonna have this uh, foam insole which will also have uh, imprinted this Nike swoosh and the lettering in this uh, dark blue color. Now guys, uh, we can go to this uh, rubber uh, midsole and inside uh, also it's very clear that we're gonna have a full length uh, air cushioning. In my opinion, uh, this uh, rubber uh, outsole uh, uh, puts a lot of weight to the actual shoe. So this one as you can see will have a lot of uh, windows uh, 
which will reveal this uh, full length air cushioning and of course we're also gonna have uh, some uh, small Nike swooshes here on the lateral side and also on the medial side and now guys we can finish with the same rubber uh, outsole which as you can see will have the same pattern as the previous one released so here at the front we're gonna have a big uh, Nike uh, swoosh in this uh, dark blue color and here at the heel section we're gonna have the Nike swoosh, we're also gonna have uh, the air written underneath and as you can see underneath this uh, Nike swoosh we're also gonna have uh, revealed this uh, air sole unit which in my opinion it's uh, slightly a bit tricky, this one uh, can uh, get uh, pierced actually quite easily. As in for the actual sizing guys, uh, for this one I went with my uh, true to size and for me as I have a skinny feet I really feel that this one is very roomy inside. So I guess uh, if you have skinny feet like me you, you can just put an extra insole but in case you have normal feet I guess this one will fit you just fine and uh, also for people with wider feet I would uh, suggest you to go with uh, either uh, true to size or or uh, try a uh, half size up depending on how wide your feet will be. So overall guys this uh, new color combination for the Nike Air more up tempo in my opinion looks much better than the one which I've uh, previously reviewed but uh, the shoe will be uh, totally the same it's just gonna be this uh, difference for the colors and in my opinion this one it's uh, still a heavy shoe which uh, of course uh, will be mainly because of this uh, rubber outsole which will add a lot of weight to the shoe. But rather than that guys this one it's of course a classic which still looks good and uses uh, quite decent uh, materials. So uh, yeah guys this was my unboxing and reviewing of this new color combination for the Nike Air More Up Tempo 96. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did uh, don't forget to press the like button maybe also subscribe to the channel. You can also give me a follow on Instagram to see exactly what I'm gonna review in the next few days. And as always I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.